Okay, and we're back. Yeah, so I accidentally stopped the recording. And here's the bald eagle. It's footage might look great, maybe not. It's as far as my optical zoom will go. So one thing that I always like about this is it's all optical zoom, which just means that uh, it's going to be in the full 4K quality without any deterioration of the quality. So there's the bald eagle, yeah. You just can't see his or her talons. There's some birds nearby. Small songbirds hanging out in one of the trees next to me. This bald eagle is kind of like looking straight into the distance. I wonder if there's the possibility that this eagle might be roosting here for the night. And I'm thinking this is a male bald eagle. It looks kind of small. It's hard to tell. It's hard to say for sure. All right, so now would probably be a good time to tell you about this dream that I had last month. So some, there was like a couple girls that came to my door and one of them was holding a bald eagle on her, on her gloved hand. And she came inside and into my grandma's bedroom. This was actually at her old house. And like I said, this was just a dream this didn't really happen, unfortunately. But I remember the dream absolutely perfectly. They came right into the bedroom, right in between the TV and the computer. First, they were right in front of the TV screen. And they were just talking to my grandma about something. And I decided to just grab the bald eagle right from the lady's hand. I wrapped my arms around the eagle and then held it right against my chest with its back facing me. So I had it, I had my hands around, well, I, I could show you how I had it, but basically I just had my arms crossed, like basically on my shoulders. And then I kind of put my, my, right hand down okay since I'm right-handed and I kind of like felt around the lower part of the eagle's chest right below where his talons are oh yeah by the way he was scratching himself with his talons there and you know at some point in time maybe not even like 10 seconds later after I held him he started to squirm around and wanted to get down and so the lady kind of said, oh, that's enough. You better give him back to me now. So I did. And then I woke up. So that's the story. And I, actually, I don't, didn't mean to say he. That was probably a female bald eagle because she felt pretty heavy. Like I was really able to feel the weight of that eagle perfectly. And I was able to feel her feathers and everything. Like it, it seems so real. Like, it didn't sa seem like that could actually be a dream, but it was. And so now I'm here right now, not petting or holding a bald eagle. <laughs> uh, so we'll just have to film this bald eagle for now. <laughs> uh,
Um, anyways, this bald eagle has a nest probably uh, across the river over where Cumberland Island is.